what is prayer? How to pray? This idea has been warped and shit on by ages of just decay and darkness. The forces of endarkment. We got the Vatican, religions, and all these ignorant masses taught by <laughs> some kind of demonic force teaching you that prayer is about asking for things, about asking a higher power to assist you in these earthly struggles. You know, oh God on your throne up above looking down on me, can you please help me get more money so I can buy a damn unicorn? No, that's not what prayer is. Prayer, I know the triggers and the bells are going off right now because this whole idea and concept has been programmed so freaking... Yeah horribly into our minds and it has cut us off from our connection to the all okay the further i go into the Cobran bible hermeticism gnostic texts ancient egyptian texts the emerald tablets right the further i go into this stuff even like the torah and the, the zohar there's so many things i see that prayer is so prevalent in all of them in all the teachings in all the apocrypha right and it's an idea that is universal, but is kind of, you can put words to it, okay? So let's talk about this. The essence of prayer is the act of aligning thyself and thy spirit with the Supreme Spirit. The act of aligning thyself with nature. The act of prayer is to get out of our heads, right, our spark of divinity, and re-enter the divinity, the wonderful, magnificent, ever so deep and dynamic creation which exists all around us and realize we are a part of this. The act of prayer is to align thy aspirations with the highest order of duty and service, right? Therefore, progressing on our spiritual path, therefore, re releasing friction from your life and manifesting the life you're supposed to live, okay? To pray is to get closer to the divinity, the, the supreme spirit that rests in all things, God, the omnipotence of it, right? And to tap into that out here so we can express it from in here, okay? We're going to get into Luciferian doctrine and we're going to get into hermetic prayer, Gnostic prayer. We're going to get into all these different things. So... dive into it. Interjection. That video is very long. I don't know if I'm going to post the whole thing, but where does God exist? In the so <laughs> in the silence. Where does God exist in the silence? God is silence. But he is the music, the bells ringing just beyond it, just beyond the perception of man. Where does God exist? God exists in the smallest particle, not the biggest, not the gross and the macro, but the micro, the essence, the ether that makes up all. He is omnipotent and omnipresent because he is in all. Where does God exist? God exists outside the realm of understanding and conception. God, the Supreme Spirit, the Prime Creator, the essence, the life force of the universe is unknowable. It is undefinable. It is beyond the understanding and comprehension of man. But the further you seek to understand, the further you seek to know, the further you listen and observe passively without the monkey mind getting in the way, right? Without seeing and rationalizing what you're seeing, but in fact seeing, without listening, with, without hearing and trying to listen, but in fact hearing. It is the act of uh, receiving and not projecting. It is the Lucifer, which is always in love with his thoughts, his conception, right? Which we got into, maybe, <laughs> um, 
and, and compensation thinking that he doesn't need God. He doesn't need to abide by the laws of the universe because he's got science and technology and he thinks he understands his shit better, right? He thinks that he can compensate his way out of this, but that only leads to chaos, darkness, death, separation, and despair. Transhumanism agenda 2018. <laughs> God is in the silence. Listen. God is all around you. God is within you. Feel. That is where you'll find God. Get the mind out of the way. Stop worrying. Listen to Alan Watts. Go into Zen Buddhism and Taoism, right? Dwell like Hermes, the, the, tw the twice born and thrice greatest. Dwell on the beauty of a tomb, the magnificence and the wonder out here. The birth of all philosophy is through wonder. Socrates. Guys, what are all these great masters trying to tell us? Appearances are deceiving. The physical is less than 0.1%. Look behind the physical. Feel behind the physical. Imagine what lies out there, right? But don't fall in love with these ideas, your conception, your own dreams all the time. That's great. Realize that it is not about in falling in love with your own egoic ideas, but in fact falling in love with the creation itself and dancing with it. Life is movement. Life is flow. It's unpredictable and it's always uncertain. Quit making certainties. Quit worrying about the future. Quit living for the physical. Live for the soul. Fire ascending to fire. The space-born race rising. Right? Live for what is real. What lies behind the 0.1% in which you perceive. And in order to do this, first you must, you must openly, with an open heart and an open mind, look. Imagine. And think for yourself. Think for your damn self. Use the logos. Right? The third eye, which is connected to the ethereal energy, intellect, is the gift of divinity in man, is what separates him from all else because we have the aspect of mind, the creator, because all is mind, and we exist within the all, all in all, meaning we exist in God, and God exists within us. Your mission is to find it, to find that, and experience that and realize who you are through understanding and wisdom. The highest sephirots of the tree of life, right? Those lead you to the gates of divinity. And when you do this and you take this path of striving, when you take this path of faith and prayer, Moses in the desert, 40 times a day, right? Calling out. To God, not for his own needs, but for guidance, for strength, for the ability to lead his people righteously and do what is best for them. To all the prophets, all the apocrypha, all the Colburn Bible. What is it talking about? Prayer is the act of aligning thyself with the Most High, with the Supreme Spirit that is in all things, but we are separated from him through this thick barrier. And to pierce that barrier is the act of aligning your desires, aspirations, and action with the will all around you, the will of the light. Are you living for darkness, lust, the body, greed, money, the next beer, the Friday night, that bitch you want to fuck, the candy you want to eat, or are you living for greater connection and love? Are you living for those star lit nights and singing at the top of your lungs with the woman you love and the, and the family you created? Are you living for doing what you love to do, your passion, or are you living for getting by and making your life easy? Are you striving? Are you spreading the light and actively opposing darkness, shunning the darkness, opposing it in all aspects, right? Ever... Walking through this dark realm, the chains of darkness all around you, but ever keeping your eyes turned towards the light. 
right? Ever dwelling on the the your understanding of who you are and what is out here and ever seeking to increase that. Wisdom is power and power is wisdom. Never stop searching. Never stop increasing understanding. You see, the forces of endarkment, they burned and raped and pillaged all the sacred knowledge from all the mystics, from all the sages, mages of the ages, all across the world, in every culture, race. They had the crusades. They had, yeah, they did that. And then they spread a doctrine of fear, fear-based mind control. So you stopped learning. So you stopped thinking for yourself so that you could never understand what you are, who you are, and what is God. But the further you get towards God and wisdom, the further wisdom and God gets towards you. It's like God reaching a finger out to the man who is unconscious and ignorant looking down. But he's starting to move that way. It is, all things are exponential and go in a Fibonacci curve in this realm, my friends. And what I'm saying here is align thyself with the Most High. Don't seek to actively resist darkness. Seek to further align thy life in service to who and what is real, is permanent. What is permanent? What is actually immortal? Your soul, if that soul is worthy, that your soul of that grows in wisdom, that grows in understanding, that grows in its capacity to feel love, to connect to the energy around you, the soul that overcomes through striving and it realizes who it is, right? It realizes and finds God in the smallest particle, right? It finds God all around him and therefore finds it within himself through experience. Spiritual progression is twofold in nature. The first one is experience. experience spiritual experience through latent, just like spiritual potential, which we have that activates through meditation. Like the God of meditations I have, Right? That activates when you feel that deep sense of love and gratitude all of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, these feelings and frisson overwhelm you, right? Spiritual experiences seek to increase those through living for the soul. We are not ignorant of the soul, right? And we are not following the path of Lucifer and compensation and constant stimulation and always projecting because we listen. Because we have faith. In something far more that we feel, that we know, that you are, okay? The act of creation is realization, not the other way around. Nothing is created, it is only unveiled to those who seek. And for those with eyes to see and ears to hear, align your aspirations with the Most High and darkness will fall from your life when you no longer seek. From morning to night, all things of earth. But you start seeking those things which bring light here, that bring more love, knowledge, awareness, consciousness to planet. When you align your aspirations with things that are truly worthwhile and make you feel amazing, right? Is that beer, that bong, that cigarette, that girl, that Big Mac, that plane trip, whatever the fuck it is, you think that's going to make you happy? You think sitting on that beach like Dan Blazarian is going to make you happy? You think living your, your, your fantasy of that romance in that small cottage with no worries is going to make you happy? Nah, my friends, you're going to get bored real quick. You're going to fall into the darkness, which is the sweet pill. Take the bitter one. Take the path far less traveled. The path where you think for yourself, where you walk your own trail, where you are led by faith, not by sight. So you no longer fall into the chasms that the masses will because you know that you and the kingdom, the kingdom living is within. Divinity is within. God is within and you are within God. If you can connect your seed, your spark of divinity, which is at your solar plexus, combining and pulling in all aspects of being into this central point, your center. 
and you breathe through that and you shake and you identify with mind and you realize that you are the immortal soul and you s increase wisdom and understanding, right? You become formless and blend thyself with the ether, with God. You understand a tomb, right? And get closer to the unknowable one. And you become space-born. You transcend this and move on to the higher realms. Because your soul has graduated this training facility of earth. Which is a very, very tough place. Okay? It has graduated through alignment of aspirations and desires. With the light. With beauty. Significance. Aesthetics. Meaning. Truth. Wisdom. Light, brightness, radiance it is aligning inside and out with the light. The purpose of man's existence is the transmutation of darkness into light. Quote, Thoth, the emerald tablets. What is he saying there? How do you transmute anything? Well, you must feel what is crooked in order for it to become straight. And you must realize that nothing ever, ever is created, it is realized, it is unveiled, it is a dance, okay? You must realize who you are and bang, you become it. That's how you do it. And to do that, it is through experience and seeing and becoming and growing in your light, in your power. Walk through the darkness, my friends. Never stop striving. Increase in wisdom. Shift your desires. Stop fighting the darkness. Stop fighting your demons. Fuck the demons. Grab your true power. Stop fiddling with the bullshit. Get off the TV. Get off the sofa. You think resting for the next six hours and having a chill night is going to make you happy. But it's, it's not really, at the end of the day, it's not really that satisfying. How about you pick up a sacred text and get your mind blown. How about you pick up a camera and speak your damn heart out, absolute truth of your soul, and unleash that? Guess what? When you do that, when you serve God the Most High, right, with your full propensity, with your full ability, guess what? He fuels you. You, your faith is ever strengthened because you walk with him hand in hand you and him and him and you as within so without as without so within as above so below you are within God and God is within you and when you can reconnect what is hidden what is veiled within you when you can find and bring forth what is within you will be saved you will become who you are, you will, <laughs> yeah, discover something truly amazing. And it all starts with prayer, experience, and listening. God is in silence. God is in the smallest particle. And God is everywhere. Look for him out there. Feel him within here. Walk towards him. Don't battle the light. Just smile and express more light into that darkness. Impose more law, order, discipline to the darkness within. And all of a sudden, that those pieces get rearranged. And you are reborn through the rebirthing process of the twice-born. As referenced in every fucking sacred text I've ever seen in my life. Because that is the process of spiritual rebirth into your true power. That it's the direction you need to head. And it all starts with prayer, introspection, meditation, and true creative thought. Thanks for watching. This is Reality Files on Demetrius. Please shoot me an email. If you want to connect. Uh, <laughs> times are changing really quick. And if you can't already tell, it's kind of like the end times out here. So, uh, yeah, if you're ready to attack the golden age... Hit me up. I feel something very, very powerful coming. So, anyway, uh, if you think I'm crazy, great. Leave a comment about that. You know, haters, haters just feel me. It's just more energy to me. 
I'm the alchemist, right? <laughs> Take that darkness and funnel it into more light. You transmute all with softness, gentleness, compassion, and love. Because you are the eight of the tarot card, the strength of divinity. Find it within, my friends. Let it blaze and shine so damn bright. No one can put you out. Fuck it all. You just breathe deeper. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to support me, Patreon, uh, my website, or I really just appreciate it. comment like, yo, maybe uh, suggest me to a Facebook group, another YouTuber. Anyway, see you guys next time. Let me know what you want more on because this is going to be part of this archive of knowledge I'm trying to get out right now, all my research from years. So leave any questions, hit me up. Anyway, let's guide this together. I'll see you guys next time. We are Space Force. Peace.